Hello, welcome to Meadow Sage. This is Sonia. I thought today I would make some herbal rose astringent. Wanted to start making and using more natural products, ones that I make myself herbal wise. So what you're gonna need is a quart jar, which is four cups, a jar that holds four cups, an ounce of roses, now, if you look here, I have this jar full of um, rose buds, rose petals, and it's on this thing. This is a postal scale, and uh, I don't, you probably can't see it, but the jar itself is 10 ounces. So, I put it on there until it gave me 11 ounces. Probably can squish a little bit more in there. <laughs> Why do I have a postal scale? Well, a few years ago, well, off and on for the past few years, I have attempted, or I had attempted to have an Etsy shop. So I needed a postal scale to know how much to um, put for um, shipping. So that's what I have it. This is, I no longer use it for that. I use it for this. So we have your quart jar. You have your ounce of rose petals. These are my roses that I grew and dried myself. And you're just going to, this is going to be the bulk of the herbal that goes into the jar. Because it's a rose astringent. So we all know roses used in beauty products. We know the hows and whys of that. And roses for love, psychic powers, healing, luck, protection. And it makes things, they're soothing and they make things smell good. Like, they make things smell feminine. Put it that way. So we're going to get all these in here. And there is a few leaves, random leaves, random rows, you know, the little <laughs> sticks that the rows grow on. So see, an ounce fills up that jar. And so then you're going to do a handful of chamomile, which I did not grow this myself. How can you get chamomile? Now I have grown chamomile, um, but you can also get it, you can get it from some health food stores will have it. You can order it, of course, online on Etsy, you probably can find it there. But also if you're in a pinch and you need it and can't find it anywhere, let me suggest chamomile tea bags. Open up the tea bags, and there you have your chamomile. Fill your jar up with all the chamomile out of there. So you need a handful, a handful. Everybody's handful is different, I'm sure. <laughs> but chamomile is money, sleep, love, purification, and protection, and is also anti-inflammatory calming and soothing. The next thing you're going to put in there is rosemary. Now I have a rosemary bush, so this is fresh rosemary. I just put, took one long twig and I cut it up. I think there was four pieces here. Cut it up because it's not going to fit in there. Just sticking it down in the jar. And rosemary is protection, love, purification, healing, and youth. And rosemary is also astringent. So you're going to poke that down in there. 
You really want to fill up your jar. That's why you put so many, you put a whole ounce of roses in there. Put that in there. And then I'm going to use witch hazel. This is 100% natural, astringent, clinical grade. It's gentle relief for oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin, which is what this rose astringent is for. It cleanses, soothes, treats. And you're just going to pour that in. You could use vinegar. But I wanted to use rosemary. And I could have used a whole nother half of one of these. But I don't have it. So that's okay. And then what you're going to do is put your lid on this. Give it a good shake. Shake it all up. And the way you would do it, it's like if you only had that much of the witch hazel. What you do besides shaking it is make sure that you also turn it upside down. Okay? so that it gets to everything, gets everything in it. Now you're going to put this in a dark place, like a pantry or a cupboard or something like that for about two weeks or so. And then you're gonna strain it and then you're gonna put it in a pretty bottle. So we're gonna let this sit up for a couple of weeks or so. And then we'll see what it looks like and finish up our rose astringent. Make sure you label and date your jar. Until next time, blessings of the dark and wild.